Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the woman's throwaway bout between Amanda Limos versus Montserrat Ruiz. And I see this one right here. So Ruiz definitely has some underrated grappling or decent grappling or good grappling. Might even lean her to have the advantage over Limos, give her an advantage there. Matter of fact, I'm gonna give her the MMA grappling advantage. That's what I'm gonna give her. Striking advantage, definitely get a huge advantage to Limos. I feel like Limos can definitely stuff the um, takedowns of Monster Ruiz are at the very least address the grappling of Monster Ruiz. So if she gets taken down, be to get back up, be able to work, be able to deal, get her under her, get off the cage, and continue to strike with her, or get her, you know, be able to put her in the clinch, land knees, and then shift position, elbows. And really in this one, like I said, I feel like Monster Ruiz is a, is a dog. She's a solid grappler. She's aggressive. She's very short, very compact, and heavy on top. Very tough to get off you, but I feel like Limo's going to be in those positions against Ruiz, and I feel like she's, like I said, be able to use that reach, use that length, use that power, use that striking advantage. Ruiz, for the most part, on the feet is just sloppy. I think some people try to say she wasn't sloppy on the feet, but she is sloppy on the feet. She not really, don't really got much to, to go off on the feet. A little bit of pop of her punches, punches, but not a one-punch knockout fighter, not a big threat on the feet. You can eat some of those punches and trade with her. It's not like it's a case of, like, don't trade with her at all costs. So or Watch out for this or watch out for that. Respect what she got, like, you should do, you should do with any other fighter. But other than that, like, on her feet, ain't nothing really to walk right home about. A basic jab will keep Ruiz at bay all day. A basic jab. She's short. Not no great head movement. Not no great footwork. Not no great arsenal strikes. And no great fight IQ. No great striking IQ. No great this. No great that. So she's short. Sloppy. Basic jab. Keep her at bay all day. And really, that would be real quick. Just throw the jab out there. Fake the jab. Come come behind it with a straight. And she out cold. That's all um, Amanda Limos had to do. Got a little midget in front of her. Maybe slip an uppercut in there. You got her all day. You got her dead to rights. But what I think in this case is going to be the case is going to be the case <laughs> is that I think um again I think Limos will be able to address her grappling had not have too great of an issue with it at all and it's really be able to outstrike her and put her out in that very first round be able to pepper up keep her at the end of her punches and put her out. So in this one I got Amanda Limos via first round TKO.